Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and finally the IndyCar series is back. We are here at the Texas Motor Speedway for the Firestone Twin 50Ks in the Haas IndyCar series. It has been a very long time since this series has been on Napa Fan, uh, but I will get it back to uh, weekly races and all that. Of course, you'll see two races today, both of the Texas races uh, here today on Napa Fan. Let's get to the starting lineup. Tyler Selzman starts on the pole. He gets three points towards the championship, and the uh, qualifying Qualifying points will only be awarded to the first race, not to the second race. Alongside him is Matt Dalio in the 33. We have Tristan Walker in the 10. James Wickard in the 18. Stuart Grattan in the 12. Lewis Stevens in the 77. Adam Pinchon in the 19. Cameron Garlington in the 21. Trey Bartow in the 14. Clint Buchanan in the 80, or, uh, 98, I should say. Mason Bowers in the 25. Max Newworth in the 26. Nick Pericles in the 16. Jacob Reed in the 2. Elijah Gordon in the 20. Harry Joe Larvin Alonzo in the 27. Jordan Newman in the 28, Dale Salzman in the 9, Zachary Fitzwater in the 15, Kevin Gandara in the 17, Gabriel Marcio in the 11, Christian Master in the 67, Eric Powers in the 3, and Jesse Turner in the number 22. Let's get this one started here today at the Texas Motor Speedway for the first race in for the Firestone Dual 50Ks. And they will be in two separate videos, so you'll see this one now, I think... Okay, I'm not entirely sure when I'm going to upload it. I'm recording it on Wednesday night, so I'm not entirely sure when I'm going to upload this, what time of day on Saturday I'm going to upload this, but I'll figure it out. I think we're going to go with 9 o'clock for this one and 10 o'clock for the second one, and then at noon you guys will see uh, the Cup Series race from Atlanta. So yeah, okay. I'll go with that. Pace car has pulled off. Tyler Selzman and Matt Dalio. It's been a long time since these Indy cars have raced here on Napa Fan, but we're finally going to do it again. Green flag is out here in duel number one, or twin number one, I should say, in the Firestone Twin 50Ks at Texas. On board with Tyler Selzman. Okay, sorry about that. It's a little loud. For some reason, the sound's a little louder on my computer than it used to be. I don't know why. Here comes Tristan Walker underneath of Tyler Selzman for the lead, and we will see a lot of passing here today at the Texas Motor Speedway in both races, and it's basically just who can be out front at the right time in this 20-lap race. I have no idea. Christian Master is the points leader. That's who it is. <laughs> it's been so long since I've done this series, I just completely forgot. Here comes Cameron Garland, 21, underneath of Lewis Stevens, who took the lead from Tristan Walker. And Garlington to the point here at Texas. Clint Buchanan right behind him in the number 98. The Snapple machine is Mason Power, 25. And we are going to see a very, very high speed uh, here today at Texas. And uh, this race is going to go by very fast as well. Mason Powers, and I'm pretty sure that is Jacob Reed behind him in the number 2. And there goes Reed enters for the lead. Elijah Gordon in the 20 right behind Reed. And I'm pretty sure this is Hair Gel Arvin Alonzo in the 27 up to fourth place. This is at the beginning of the Cup Series race at Atlanta is. Whereas this is only a 20 lap race, so it's a really short race. And of course, with these high speeds, uh, this thing will be done in no time. And, you know, we usually do not crash. This is the open wheel. There's more grip on the racetrack, so they can go faster. Uh, but they also have a lot more grip, so that means that they're not going to be moving all around all over the place. So I don't think we're going to see a crash in either races today here at Texas. Anyway, here, Joel Arvin Alonso takes the lead from the number 20. Here comes Lewis Stevens in the 77 underneath of him. You have Dale Salzman here in the 9, who was banned in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. I'm not going to ban him here because we're already way too far into the season, and there really isn't no need to do it. Uh, but he will return... He can return to the Chick-fil-A Cup Series after season number three and the MRO Cup Series after season number four if I even do the MRO Cup Series because I really don't care about stop motions anymore. <laughs> Here comes Fitzwater underneath of Salzman. For sure, Lewis Stevens led that lap in the number 77. Zachary Fitzwater, who came close to winning the Indianapolis 200 a couple weeks ago. He's now leading here. Here comes Gabriel Marcio in the 11. Behind him it is Jesse Turner, who won at Kentucky. And then Eric Powers, who is always fast here in the IndyCar Series. He won at Walt Disney Speedway earlier this season. And he's right now on this inside line moving his way up. And our Indianapolis 200 winner, Christian Master, on this inside line with Stuart Gratton behind him. Here comes Jesse Turner for the lead. 
underneath of Gabriel Marcia, and now Eric Powers in the three underneath of Jesse Turner. Turner barely led that lap. Here comes Master, the Indianapolis 200 winner. Trying to take the lead here from Eric Powers. And we have Stuart Gratton here in the 12, moving his way up on this inside line. James Wickard in the 18. Nick Pericles in the 16. Jordan Newman in the 28 on this inside line. As, of course, as you can tell, the inside line is definitely the place to be here at Texas. And Stuart Gratton now working the inside line to take the lead, but James Wickard right behind him, trying to take it from him. In places where we see a lot of passing, it is usually the inside line that uh, is the advantage. When the outside line is the advantage, though, we rarely see passing for the lead. But in the IndyCar series, basically every track we go to, the inside line is the place to be. Nick Pericles in the 16 takes the lead. Now, Jordan Newman in the 28 takes the lead with help from Jacob Reed. And I think we're starting to see some of these guys who uh, were leading earlier in this race starting to move their way up front here. So, Clint Buchanan, Adam Pinchon, and pole sitter Tyler Selsbin. There goes Clint Buchanan underneath of Jacob Reed. And the leader of that lap, I'm pretty sure, was Jordan Newman in the 28. There goes Buchanan for the lead underneath of Jacob Reed. And here comes Adam Pinchon for second place. And now he's going to go for the lead. And Adam Pinchon in the 19 gets a run and leads that lap from fifth to first in one lap. That is how much passing we are having here at the Texas Motor Speedway. Tristan Walker, Tyler Selzman up here. Walker's going to get second here. This is Trey Barto in the 14 moving his way up on this inside line. The 20 of Elijah Gordon back up front here. And Matt Dalio in the 33 on this inside line as well. Trey Barto now underneath of Tristan Walker for the lead. Elijah Gordon in the 20 on this inside line. The 33 of Matt Dalio on this inside line trying to move his way up. And now there are only seven laps to go in this race. There goes Dalio underneath of Elijah Gordon for the lead now. And Kevin Andara in the 17 trying to get a piece of the action here at Texas. Gabriel Marcio on this inside line. And that is Dale Salzman in the nine on this inside line with Lewis Stevens behind him and Mason Powers. This race is going by really fast here at the Texas Motor Speedway here. And Gabriel Marcio is going to lead a lap in the number 11. Dale Salzman trying to get by him. Lewis Stevens on this inside line. He's going to try to peek underneath of the nine for the lead. We'll see if he can do it, and he will. Well, I mean, every single lap, there is a pass. And quite ironically, I almost don't like that this kind of racing because it's almost too predictable. Here comes Mason Powers underneath of Lewis Stevens for the lead, and we have Zachary Fitzwater here in the number 15. And Christian Master in the 67. The Indianapolis 200 winner trying to make it two in a row. I think he's getting up front just a little too fast here. I think the money position is either Stuart Grant or Jesse Turner. And they both have won this season. There goes Christian Master underneath of Zachary Fitzwater for the lead. Here, Joe Larvin Alonzo behind Master. Alonzo in the number 27. I could be wrong about that money position uh, between Stuart Cratton and Jesse Turner. He might be a little behind those guys. Here's Jill Arvin Alonzo. Took the lead there for a moment. Here comes Stuart Cratton underneath of him. And they're three wide now. 
Stuart Gratton now out front in the number 12. But he's going to be quickly overtaken by Jesse Turner. Gratton leads it at the white flag, but he won't be leading into checkered. Here comes Jesse Turner for the lead. On this inside line, Jordan Newman in the 28, Jacob Reed in the number 2. Jordan Newman in the number 28. Underneath of Jesse Turner, will Jacob Reed get a run? Yes, he will. Side by side at the line. It is. Boy, that was close. Jordan Newman wins twin number one here at Texas. That was close. What a good run for Jacob Reed there at the end. But Jordan Newman, the winner of the Firestone Twin 50K race number one. And that is 50 points in the bag for him. Well, interesting uh, race here. Good to, good race to start off the season. For some reason, Cameron Garlington got disqualified. Hmm, interesting. I've never seen that before in NR2003. I've done quite a few races, and I've never seen a DQ before. Hey, maybe he just went to Dairy Queen. Okay, that was bad. Anyway, Jordan Newman, the winner here at Texas in the Firestone uh, twin number one, and we will have twin number two at 10 o'clock Eastern AM right here on Napa Fan. So no, I will not post the points for uh, this race. You will see the points at the end of twin race number two. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys. Or